This is Introduction to Mechanical Engineering 2017-18 exam question 4 and it's about a beam and we're asked to find the support reactions um, so I'll start by writing my own version of the diagram as always um, we've got a downward force there of 10 kilonewtons another one of 5 kilonewtons and then we've got reaction forces at what we presume are the supports at A and B. And we're told that these lengths here are 2 metres, 2 metres and 2 metres. Um, and I can solve this in various ways. What I'll do I think is to use moment equilibrium twice. We can also use vertical equilibrium but I think it's always good in these particular questions. Um, moment equilibrium is part of it so I'm just going to use that all the way through. And then I'll, I'll finish up with some vertical equilibrium just to check my answer. So taking moments about A clockwise what we need to do is find the moments due to each of the forces in turn and then uh, add them up and if we make clockwise forces positive, anti-clockwise forces negative, then together they should all add up to zero. And that's how moment equilibrium works. The Because we're interested in the, mom the moments about that point there at A, um, I'll just mark on that I'm calling that end A and that end B for complete clarity. This force doesn't have any effect. It goes straight through A, so it doesn't create a moment. This force is 2 metres away, and it's creating a clockwise moment. So that gives me 10 times 2. This one is 4 metres away, also creating a clockwise moment. The whole thing's moving that way when pushed by this force or this force. Uh, so that's plus 5 times 4. And then RB is pushing upwards, so it's going anti-clockwise in this context, trend, tending to cause things to rotate that way, like so. Um, and so uh, RB is negative and it's six metres away from the pivot. And all of those things have to add up to zero. And when I rearrange that, I get that 6RB equals 40, and RB equals 40 divided by 6 which equals 6.67 kilonewtons I'm going to say. Um, now what I can do is I can take clockwise moments about B and this time I won't need RB but RA will turn up in the equation so I'll be able to solve for RA. Again, I'm just going to go accounting for all the forces that are acting on the beam going from left to right on my diagram. So RA is 6 metres away and it's creating a clockwise force. It's going from 9 o'clock here to 10 o'clock. So RA times uh, 6 minus, and I'll go a bit quicker now, 10 times 4. This is creating an anti-clockwise moment and it's 4 metres away minus 5 times 2 equals 0, the 5 times the 2 metres from the pivot at B, and all of that gives me that 6RA equals 50, and therefore, I'm just going to mark on my signs showing that each line comes from the previous line, RA equals 50 divided by 6, which equals 8.33 kilonewtons. And those are my two answers. That's the question complete. And just underline those. Um, and I can just do one more thing for total checking, I can just check on vertical equilibrium, forces acting upwards equals RA plus RB 
which equals 6.67 plus 8.33, which equals 15 kilonewtons. Forces acting downwards equals 5 plus 10, which equals 15 kilonewtons as well. And so that's good news. Our forces acting upwards equal our forces acting downwards. Um, so equilibrium is maintained. And in that last bit, you don't need this, this final section uh, for, for the marks here, but it's just kind of useful if you've got the time. Uh, if you found this number for forces upwards didn't equal this number for forces downwards, you should go back and just check you maybe made an arithmetic mistake somewhere in the calculations for A and B. And that's that question complete.